I'm Jane Seward. I'm happy to have my friend Haley with me uh, for this episode of Magic Spell. Haley, you're in the fourth grade, right? Yes. And sometimes, do you need your parents to help you just a little bit, maybe with some spelling? Yeah. Okay. Well, today, you and I are going to work together, and we're going to show other kids and other parents how to add ing to the ends of words, and it's a real simple way to do that. In fact, Haley, it's almost like magic. Are you ready to get started? Yep. Okay. I know this is going to be really easy, all right? So we're going to start with, um, I'm thinking of the word plan, like, uh, oh, I bet when it's your birthday, you need to plan your birthday party. Okay. Well, if we need to add ing to a word like plan, all right, I'm going to write that word here on my board. Okay. So we just have, okay, the P-L-A-N, all right? Now, the big question is, if we need to add ing to that, hey, you know what my daughters used to ask me? They'd say, hey mom, do, am I supposed to double the n or not double the n? How do I know? Okay, in other words, they just wanted me to tell them. And I thought, you know what? There's got to be a better way to do this. So here's what I've learned. There is a little pattern in our language because spelling is all about patterns. And it's called the one, one, one pattern. And I like to think of it like that. So I just want your brain to kind of take a picture of that one plus one plus one, okay? And here's how it goes. If you have one syllable, Haley, if you have a one syllable word like plan, was that one syllable? Yeah. Okay, one syllable. And you have one vowel. So let's think again about the word plan. Did we have one vowel letter? We did. And did we have one consonant at the end? Did we have that? Yep. Did we have, we have one syllable word, we have one vowel letter, there it is. Okay, told you this is going to be easy, right? And if the word ends in just one consonant, then all you have to do is say, I double it. I double the final consonant before I add the ing. Isn't that easy? Okay, you want to try one? Sure. Okay, get your pen ready. Okay, so now we're going to use this little one, one, one pattern is what I like to call it. And I'm thinking of the word swim because I think you're going to be about ready for summer, aren't you? All right, so let's think about the word swim. So would you put that on your board? Okay, now let's see if it follows. And we want to add ing to that word. So we want to make the word swimming. Okay, so if we add... Uh, or if we ask ourselves, remember, it's the one, one, one pattern. So do you have a one-syllable word? Yes. Do you have one letter vowel? Yes. You had the I, didn't you? Do you have just one consonant at the end? Yes. So what are you going to do? Are you going to double it or not double it? Double it. You're going to double it. So go ahead and write that on there. And then I'd like to sh have you show the parents how that looks. See how easy that was? Okay, let's try another one. Okay, why don't you erase that? Okay, I'm thinking of the word coach. Okay, like um, you need, if you play soccer, you need someone to coach you on that. All right, so let's pretend we want to add ing to that and make the word coaching. Okay, now, do you have, let's think about the one, one, one. Can you start kind of doing that with me now? Because if you practice a little bit, it goes right inside that brain. All right, so did you have a one syllable word? Yes. Okay, do you have a one letter vowel? Check again. No. Oh, <laughs> we have a two-letter vowel, don't we? Okay, and you actually did not have two consonants at the end, so is this a double or a not double? Not double. This is a not double, so just add ing and show the parents how that looks. That's pretty easy, isn't it? Okay, now um, let's try one more. Okay, I'm thinking of the word, um, oh, shop. Woo, we like to shop, don't we? All right, write that word on your board. And let's do the one, one, one pattern one more time. Do you have, we want to add ing. We're still adding ing. Do you have a one syllable word? Do you have one, a one letter vowel? And do you have just one consonant at the end? Yes. So, double, not double. Oh. Double it. So double it and add ing, and you have made the word shopping. All right, go ahead and show how that looks. 
Cool. Is that something you think you can kind of hang on to and, and use whenever you need to spell? Yeah. I think that you can, and it's really simple. So when we think about the one, one, one pattern, we just have just a few little things to remember. We need to have a one syllable word. The word contains just one vowel letter, and we have one consonant at the end. All we do, double the final consonant, add ing, and it's as easy as that. And thank you for watching this episode of Magic Spell.